Hello, Matthew Williams here, bringing you a top secret, top fucking secret fix for your shitty fucking internet. Now, I've been doing this long enough to know what I'm saying is 100% fucking right. Now, I'm going to name the worst offender of all. The worst offender that I have come across, because I live in the UK, um, I can't speak for other countries, but in the UK, the worst offender for this is a company called BT, British Telecom. Okay, so if you have problems with, let's say, bringing up, a, let's bring up a web page. Look, here we go. Right, we go over to this screen. Okay, and say we type in www.google.co.uk. We're ready. So if we type in google.co.uk, now if we press enter, and it just sits there and sits there and sits there for ages and ages and ages, and then eventually it comes up, or sometimes it won't even come up. It'll say, sorry, there's a problem with this page. And you think, uh, is my internet screwy? Is it fucked? No, not necessarily, because you could then do a speed test. You go, whoa, 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 speed test dot net. Uh, what's wrong with my internet? Is it any good? And eventually it takes a long time for speed test to come up. Every little piece of speed test seems to be very slow and labored in coming up like this, right? And then you press begin test. Once it starts doing the test, you get great speed reports. And then you think, well, if I'm getting these great speed reports, why won't these pages load? Look at that, great speed, 35 megabits download. And it should be about two megabits upload, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just watch to see, because some people say talk talk is crap. Talk talk is rubbish, 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 rubbish. It's not rubbish. There's my speed on talk talk. It's fucking great. Just depends which area you're in and whether they've unbundled your ex exchange. Here we go. Yeah, about 1.8, yeah, 1.8, 1.9, so it's nearly about 2. So that's good. So I'm getting great speed. So if I were to, for instance, now I don't get this problem on Talk Talk, does Talk Talk is fine. Talk Talk works perfectly, right, for me. But people on BT get this problem. So they go back and they go right then, whoa, 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 google.co.uk, and they hit enter and it does nothing. Yeah, it'll, it'll go there straight away for me. Look, bang, straight away. And do you know why that is? It's all about a thing called DNS. D for Delta, N for November, S for Sierra, DNS. It stands for Domain Name Server. Now then, let's go back a step. You know when you typed in www up here, you went www.google.co.uk, right? You might, in your little fucking world, think that, that when you hit enter, the inter just, internet just magically knows to go jump to Google, and it goes there by going to Google. It doesn't. It doesn't just know what Google is. It hasn't got a fucking clue what Google is, right? It has to turn the name google.co.uk back into a number, which is known as an IP number, right? Internet protocol number. Right, okay, so it has to turn that back into a number. So effectively, right, what is the number for really for Google, right? It's not going to google.co.uk. When it's going to that web page, it's going to a number, right? This is how the internet really works, okay? So if we do a DNS lookup, right, a domain name server lookup, if we type in the domain name, google.co.uk, when we hit enter, it tells us the real hidden number that is actually what Google is. And the number is 216.58.194.67. Now what does this mean, you say? What does that mean? Right? Well imagine a telephone, right? You don't type in Johnny Smarty Pants and then hit phone, do you? Yeah? You might have him in your phone book but that phone book just looks up a telephone number, doesn't it? Yeah. So the internet is exactly the same. It doesn't understand who the fuck Johnny Farty Pants is, right? It needs a number, okay? That's what a DNS number is. Guess who's got the shittest DNS server for their customers ever, right? It's BT, British Telecom. Been like that since fucking forever. It's been like that since the fucking year dot, right? 
I think personally they actually do something to tweak their speed of their DNS server down right just a hunch because nobody else's is as bad as BT's right and it's physically impossible that after all this time BT couldn't get it right one of the biggest phone companies in the world one of the richest phone companies in the world because they charge the most amount of money and give the least amount of service to their customers hence this fucking DNS problem so what can you do about this you say if they've got a shitty DNS server well your computer when it tries to connect has to go through their DNS server first to get the number before it can go to the web page so you're you're kind of stuck with this aren't you you're stuck with it you're not actually if you've got a proper computer ie like a PC um, apples don't necessarily come into that category because they're fucking overpriced shit right but if you happen to have a decent fucking computer right then you come down to the control panel down here and you call up the control panel and then you call up network and sharing center right and then you go to the local area connection and you go to properties and then you go to TCP IP which is transport control protocol IPv4 right this is all shit you've never heard of right and I won't bore you with how it really fucking works right just just do this shit right and then you go to use the following DNS server addresses ah and what's it on at the moment it's on obtain the DNS server addresses automatically so if you if it's set to obtain the DNS server automatically which one do you think it's going to use it's going to use your BT because that's your service provider so it's going to use their shitty fucked up retarded throttled DNS server so what you do is you say fuck BT and their fucking ridiculous overpricing and fuck BT and their ridiculous throttling and fuck BT for telling you they're giving you fiber when they're not really giving you fiber and charging you loads of funny fucking money and fuck BT for turning your speeds down right on purpose turning your speed of your broadband down and then ringing you and going hello Mr. Williams would you like to have faster broadband in your area and it only cost you 20 pound a month more right when they're the fuckers who turned it down in the first place what you do is you bypass their fucking DNS servers because they're shit right and you use different DNS servers now I'm going to give you two sets of numbers which are brilliant for bypassing right and they're very safe apart from the fact that the first one happens to be Google which means it's the NSA okay so if you if you don't mind bypassing your fucking numbers through the through the NSA then this works really well watch in this, these boxes you type the following numbers 8.8.8 ready for this dot 8 wow what an easy to remember number right <laughs> that's Google's DNS server nice easy number right the second place you can go to is an organization called opendns.org you don't have to use Google's DNS server if you'd rather use something like this this uh, organization opendns.org right scroll down to the bottom of the page and then numbers are there for you to to type in 208.67.222.222 you put those numbers in your settings right watch this now 208.67.222.222 and you can use the other number in the first box if you don't want to use Google's DNS servers you can use 208.67.220.220 right, okay so you press OK you press OK and you close that and then right you may have to close your browser down and reopen your browser you may have to restart your machine most of the time you don't have to do it but now when you go to these pages like youtube.com or whatever and you hit enter bang they should come up straight away like that yeah no delays no can't find the page no taking ages and ages to load up the adverts on the side and taking forever none of that it's pip 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 really quickly if i'm wrong you've lost nothing go back into those settings and turn them back onto automatic some people's broadband providers will not allow you to bypass around the, their shitty DNS servers and they even though you think you are bypassing them you're not you're going through them 
right some people will have to put those numbers I showed you there inside the settings of their router which is a bit of a pain in the arse and don't ask me how to do it for individual routers because they're a fucking pain in the arse but that is what is wrong with your service if you're getting shipped with BT now you can send me your fucking donations for how fucking happy you are with your internet after that to suckmyfuckingbtarse.cock goodbye